everybody, I'm Eliana. And my name is Daniel. Welcome to Lifehouse Kids Online. We're so happy you could join us today. again here at Lifehouse Kids. All month long, we've been learning about what it means to be creative because God has given each of us the gift of creativity. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you are made in God's image. We are all created by God and made in His image. And as we'll see a little later in our Bible story, God made us to be salty. <laughs> but not in that way. Just like salt makes things taste really, really good, God wants us to make the world around us taste better by telling others about Him. How about we have some food right now? One, two, three. Today, we're going to test how salty we are by tasting some salty foods. Feel free to do this at home, too, with your parents' permission. You'll need salt, some salty foods, a blindfold, and a willing participant. Daniel's going to go first. He'll put on his blindfold, and I'll give him some food. And he's going to have to guess what it is. Ready, Daniel? Yep. Right. What do you think it is? It's definitely crunchy. Is it spicy, too? A chip? Um, yes, it's a ducky. All right, let's try another one. How salty uh, is it? What do you think it is? Salty, but sweet too. More, a little bit more salty than the taki though. Okay, those are pretty salty. Now it's your turn, Eliana. Put your blindfold on. Okay, I'm ready. What do you think this is? Is it popcorn? You got it. Okay, ready? Uh huh. What do you think this one is? Mm, really salty. Is it like a cracker? Yes, it's a wheat thins cracker. All right, let's make all this disappear. One, two, three. <laughs> and there it is. Those are pretty salty foods. Can you imagine what they would taste like without salt? They wouldn't be very good at all. A potato chip without salt? That's just a potato. Good too, but definitely not the same. No way. And as we'll see in our Bible story, God wants us to be the light and the salt of the world. But before we get to that, why don't you get on your feet and join us in worship? God is really worthy of all our praise. Everything I need, you are. When nobody else is listening to me, you are. Before my heart took its first beat, you already loved me, Lord. And in your kindness, you saved me, you're all.
for a peanut. What's up everybody, it's me, Jacob, and today we're getting creative with light. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you were made in God's image. And God could tell you a thing or two about light. It was the first thing he created after all. Let there be light. Oh, no, too bright, too bright. Did you know that light can travel at 186 thousand miles per second. If you were in a spaceship, it would take you three days to get to the moon. Light can travel to the moon in about a second. Fly me to the moon. Let me burp it in the stars. And never... You can use light in all kinds of creative ways. Not only can you make shadow puppets, <laughs> you need light to take pictures and make videos. This won't do at all. This is terrible lighting. Lights! No, no, down, down with the lights. No, too bright. Thank you. You can use lights to make a concert more exciting. You can even use light to communicate. S O S. Need help. I'm out of. Chocolate. Sad emoji. I don't actually know Morse code. In today's story, we're going to learn about another use for light. In fact, we're going to learn how you and me can be the light. I can make a bee. I can make a bee. It's, you gotta get the wings. Uh, oh, okay. Bee. I'm a bee. Bzz, bzz, bzz. See you in a few. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Kisa Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Myers letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped a smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope, salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? You want to test it out? Fine. I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings worked quickly 
as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly, or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one about salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits. You know, the cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preacher man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach. And pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. That's it? Well, no. I mean, then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better. And people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace. All that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted, trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus... By showing God's love to others. When we do that, others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm going to put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would have came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt and light herself. Jesus said that I am a light. He said that you are a light and we should let our light shine so others can see it. And when we shine our lights, it will help point people to God. So how do we shine our lights? Well, we can give someone a helping hand. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh. We can cheer someone on. You can listen when someone else needs to talk. That's my ear. Listening. Only you can shine your light the way you can. So get creative. All you have to do is treat others the way Jesus did. Love people, serve people, and treat people like they matter. Then you'll be giving people a glimpse of God's story. You'll show people how much God loves them and how much they matter to him. Here's the one thing to remember today. God created you to share his story. Tell people with your words what God has done, or use your actions to point people to him. No matter what, let your light shine. I know I'll never forget that. I'll see you next time. Oh, it's too bright. It's too bright. Ugh. Bye. Oh, okay. What Jesus said to his disciples that day is also true for you and me. 
God created us to be like the salt and the light. He made each of us with an important purpose. God created you to share his story. Let's have Sarah say our new bottom line. It's a really important one. Hi friends, our bottom line this week says, God created you to share his story. Say that with me. God created you to share his story. Yes, he did. Bye, friends. That's right, Sarah. Each one of us can share his story with our actions and not just our words. And we should do it because we know God is so good. Everyone deserves to know about him. Let's review our memory verse with Kaylin. Hi, friends. Let's put your memory to the test and see if you remember this month's verse. This is the last week we'll practice this one. If you know it, try saying it with me. If you need to read it, that's okay too. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Psalm 145, verse 3. Now say it with me. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Psalm 145, verse 3. Great job, everyone. If you've been practicing, I'm sure it took some work. I mean, a little creativity to help you remember it. But in the end, it was so worth the effort because you remembered God's word. God's word is so important, and it will help us through our whole lives. See you next time where we'll learn more of God's word. Thanks, Kaylin. God's word is so amazing and true. But how can we use our creativity to show others his amazing world? Maybe you really like to create art. You can make a drawing that reminds others of God and the amazing world he created. Or you could write one of your favorite Bible verses that always encourages you and give it to a friend. There are tons of great ways that we can share God's story. We can all use our creativity, but the important part is to remember this. God created you to share his story. Your whole life can point others to God's story, and only you can know what that looks like for you. Don't just talk about God. Show what a difference he has made in your life. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Stand up for what you know to be right. Maybe it means that the words you speak need to be filled with the things that you know Jesus will want you to say. And it doesn't have to be preachy. Just think about what it would sound like to speak words of love, kindness, and forgiveness into the hurt and rudeness of this world. That's how we can do what God created us to do. Share his story. Let's pray and ask God to help us do exactly that. Dear God, Thank you for creating each of us to share your story. It's a big deal to know that people will see you through the way we treat them every day. Help us be like the salt, bringing out the best in ourselves and others. And help us to shine your light by sharing your love with everyone around us. Help us use our creativity to share your story with others. We love you, and I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And that's all for today, everyone. This week... Ask your parents to text KIDS to 661-403-0720 to get connected with Lifehouse Kids. That's KIDS to the number 661-403-0720. Be sure to click the link for activities to help you throughout the week. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to follow and get our Sunday online experience videos. And on behalf of the Lifehouse Kids team, we miss you and we hope to see you all real soon. Stay safe and God bless.